One of the things that keeps me successful as a professional, as a broker, uh, investor, developer, landlord, uh, etc., etc., advisor, is the news, uh, the real estate news. Um, in the news right now, the big question is, is it becoming a buyer's market? Uh, and that's the headlines. Here's one from uh, First American Chief Economist. Does rising housing inventory signal the beginning of a buyer's market? Here's another one from Realtor.com. The seller's market may be coming to an end. As more inventory enters the market, buyers have more and more options, bidding wars are less likely, and sellers start reducing their prices. And here's one from Huffington Post. House prices are in part a reflection of supply and demand. As housing supply increases relative demand, price appreciation slows down. In addition, rising prices and modestly increasing mortgage rates have reduced affordability, especially to first-time buyers. Supply and demand is basically the economics of real estate. As the demand goes up, prices go up. As the demand goes down, prices go down. As inventory goes up, the prices go down. As inventory goes down, the prices go up, supply and demand. Another thing that's happening on a development basis is apartment buildings are being built all over. People are going up uh, three, four, five, six stories all over the Bear Area, which will create a lot of rental housing. And as rental housing increases, um, developers often will overbuild and rental rates will decline and make renting more affordable and renters will choose to stay in these luxury apartments rather than buy a mediocre, um, high-priced home. Another thing in the news is uh, mortgage rates have hit a seven-year high. The 30-year fixed mortgage rate broke through the 4.6 mark, the highest level since May 2011. Buyers can only afford what they can afford. A another factor is the non-owner occupied or the investor market. Um, in 2015, the number of sales for non-owner occupied houses in Marin County was 19.2%. Here, now in 2018, um, the non-owner occupied uh, market is 32.9%. That's like 50% increase in the last three years. That means investors are leaning towards getting out, maybe because they think that they've maximized the prices, maybe the rents have stabilized, which they have, and they're not getting the return for the, the amount of and cash they have invested. So there's lots of things that can affect that. Well, actually, a lot of it's just the news. I mean, the news kind of creates itself these days. If it's in the news, it's got to be true, right? <laughs> anyway, another thing I, I find really interesting is, is that when a market uh, starts to, you know, say like the stock market, the currency, uh, trading, uh, commodities tradings, as a market starts to top out, uh, the investors realize that they've been successful, but they're not going to get the returns as much out of the investments. So they turn to courses, and they start selling these courses, um, and what they do. And so, for example, here's uh, self-made millionaires teach you how to get rich. Real Estate and Wealth Expo, uh, Bay Area, by Tony Robbins. Um, and, of course, he's got a whole bunch of real estate gurus and stuff on there, too, to give the course. Uh, what, the, what typically this is, is it's a, like a free three-hour course to give you a pitch on a three-day course which they charge you 300 bucks to get into which they teach you some stuff and uh, you know I went to one of them and it was basically you buy a piece of real estate at 20 percent below market value and then you turn around and sell it for 20 percent over market value Josh Altman as seen on Bravo TV's million dollar listing I mean it's right here Josh Altman uh, oh goodness he um, offered me a 250 dollar Starbucks uh, coupon. Why well, should I probably should have gone to that one? And here's one I did go to. Star of ABC's hit reality show Shark Tank, Damon John is now bringing Damon John's success team to San Rafael, and of course that included a real estate investment, uh, of course. And here's my 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 pass that I so I actually went to. It. So also I, I look at both sides, and and I look back and and. Um, Here's a, a, a video by Carol Radoni, who is uh, the San Francisco Bay's most foremost uh, real estate economist and speaker. It's just a character to watch. 
And for the most part, I think she's really on target with the research and, and her analysis. So here's and here's a couple minutes of Carol. Because you are paying for value today that you're going to get tomorrow. And you have to be assured that that's going to happen. Well, how do you know that, Carol? Because it's the entry market. We have no inventory. There is going to be no more inventory. Builders aren't building there because they can't afford to build there. And I would ask you this question. How many of you in this room were born in California? Oh, nice. How many of you came from someplace else? Ooh, a lot. Of those of you that came from someplace else, would you like to go back where you came from? Am I missing that? Am I missing that hand up? Okay, so therefore, hello? People are here. People are coming. Somebody said to me, oh, Carol, 60,000 people left California last year. I said, oh, thank God. I wish 100,000 had left. You know what the statistics show us? By 2030, a million more people are coming here. After that, by 2040, 2 million will be here, creating a million more jobs. So you're going to tell me the entry market isn't going to be appreciating? Of course it's going to appreciate because that's where everybody has to start. And of course we have no more land. So they have to be able to be assured that they will have value and that value will be coming to them. And we know it's going to be double digit appreciation in that chair anyway. So sellers there have all the aces. They died and went to heaven. It's buyers that don't get it and they need to get it. So keep in mind this uh, seminar with Carol was done maybe nine months ago or so. And uh, she's very bullish on real estate, as, as I certainly am watching that video again. Uh, and the fact is a lot of things she states are still coming true. You know, a lot of developments going on, a lot of people are moving here. Um, so the big question to you is, who do you believe? Is this a good time to sell real estate? Is this a good time to buy real estate? Uh, what should I do? And really that's a, a very personal question. And to evaluate that, you're going to have to ask yourself a bunch of questions that you really can't just uh, put out to the news or just uh, pick a number. It's not a crystal ball. It's not a magic date. Uh, it's all about your needs and the things that you want, your goals, your ambitions, what you know, tax reasons. So if you'd like to learn more, I'm doing another long-term uh, timing the Marin real estate market video here shortly, and I go all the way back to the 60s and, and explain to the, the the, the ten year cycle of up and down and how it works and for the most part it's pretty right on target I'm pretty amazed at the, the outcome of it uh, so I got that one also there's a lot of insider videos of people that I've known for decades that I've trusted and relied on to basically keep myself successful as a broker and investor um, at marinbrokersgroup.com you can see it at Marin Brokers Group on Facebook and Marin Brokers Group on Instagram so hopefully that uh, gives you some advice, helps you maximize your profits and reduce your risk and stress. So thanks for watching. And that's a wrap.